All right, Alpha Two. Yes. Oh no, Alpha Two. <laughs> <laughs> Injective. Sure. <laughs> wow, that guy sucks. Dude, that was like the next Hans Zimmer track. <laughs> <laughs> That was me shooting at enemies, and they just didn't know I was there, but I couldn't hit any of them because my aim is doo-doo. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. HD Gamer 101 here, back with another video. So, um, in today's video, we are going to be talking about, uh, let's just say... What's probably gonna turn out to be my new favorite video game. This is World War III. Now, for those of you who don't know what World War III is or haven't heard about it, um, it's made by a, uh, uh, what's the word, production studio, or a game development studio uh, by the name of The Farm 51. Um, they've made some, I'm trying to remember some of the games they've made in the past and it's uh, failing me at the moment, but um, let's just say that this game well, it's got its problems. We'll uh, leave it at that, but um, it's also a ton of fun. So, for those of you who don't know, my YouTube channel actually started out um, mainly as playing Battlefield 4. And I have something like 3,500 hours in Battlefield 4 across um, numerous different platforms. And so, um, to say the least, that was definitely one of my favorite video games of all time, if not my favorite video game of all time. And ever since then, the Battlefield series just hasn't quite felt the same. You know, you had Hardline to come after Battlefield 4, and it was just like, eh. Um, and then Battlefield 1 came out, you know, and I was I was pretty excited for it. But then I only have like 300 or 400 hours in it. So, obviously, I was not enjoying it as much. Now, yes, I was, you know, more busy and stuff, but 3,500 hours? Like, come on, there's 400 hours cannot compete with that. So, um, and then Battlefield 5, obviously, just came out as well. And I actually had Battlefield 5 on pre-order, and then I just wasn't excited by the game anymore. Um, and, you know, now that people are playing it, I'm like, kind of like, yeah, I kind of wish I would have gotten the game. But not really. Like, I have wanted Battlefield to go back to modern for so, so long. And this game came along, World War III, which you guys have been watching for the past minute or two. Um, and this game... Oh man, this game is this game is awesome. Now, um, let's get back into like if you don't really know what it is. Uh, World War Three is basically a hardcore battlefield game. So in World War Three, you have very very realistic um, gun gameplay, and so everything you, with that you do with your gun feels pretty realistic. Recoil feels really good. Um, they definitely have some quirks to work out with the damage model. Uh, system at the moment because snipers should do way more damage than they're doing uh, Which is kind of annoying, but it's not the worst thing in the world uh, by any means. Um, let's see. So right now uh, It's an early access title So uh, everybody at this point knows what an early access title is and it generally has like a bad Sigma about it uh, You know if your game goes into early access, it's like eh, but this game is actually a lot of fun now It definitely has its problems like I was saying before Um like, I have not been able to spawn on a squad leader but a few times. Um, that's bugged. Uh, thankfully, they just put out a patch yesterday that fixed a lot of the crashing I was having. Um, they also just released a, released a patch that helped with 4K UI scaling. So, I obviously play at 4K. So, uh, UI is fixed for me now, which is a lot of, a lot of fun. I can actually see stuff. Um, frame rate is still a massive issue. Like, yes, I'm playing at 4K, but... I, I still get, you know, on some maps, 30 and 40 FPS, and you'll see that in the video. Uh, if you look in the top left-hand corner, actually, there's a frame rate counter for um, all of these clips. So, sometimes I can, you know, get more than 60. But, you know, I also have a Titan XP. I should be able to drive just about any game, especially at the settings. I'm running a low a mix of low and medium on this game um, in, in the settings. So, I should be able to run it at over 60 FPS with no issues. But, um, so they still have a lot of optimization to do, but, oh man, does this game just feel rewarding. Every single time you get a kill, you're just like, oh, that felt good. Especially when you, when you hit a, a nice face shot. So the game knows the difference between a headshot and a face shot, um, because there's also a highly realistic armor system as well. So you can have head, head armor as well as, like, your plate carrier will have armor in it, and you can choose that. 
um, choose different armors, and so they'll do different damage reductions and stuff like that, which can also be annoying if you uh, don't exactly know what you're doing. Um, so the game rewards face shots and abdomen shots. That's about it. Uh, well, I guess legs is okay as well, but let's just say you don't want to be aiming for the armor uh, unless you have AP rounds, in which case it's all right. Um, but yeah, let's see. Where do I start? So the gun customization as well is just absolutely phenomenal. I don't think I actually have any footage of it. I'll try and get some for the next time, but um, let's just say that every single gun, well, okay, some of the guns don't have all their customization in yet, but some of the guns, holy crap, there is so much customization in these guns. Like, you can change the rails, the barrels, you can have a compensator, uh, but not just a compensator, you can have 15 different compensator options. You know, and then you have flash hiders, you have suppressors, you have all different kinds of grips and lasers and flashlights, and then you can change out your rail, like I was saying, you can change out your pistol grip, you can change out your top rail. Unfortunately, there's no, you can't really change the upper or lower receiver yet. I don't know if that's going to be in the game or not. It'd be a kind of cool addition in my opinion. But, um, so you can't do that, but you can change the stock. Uh, it's just, it goes so in depth. And then you have camo camos, which is like, they're not too over the top. You know, they're not like Call of Duty diamond blinged out or anything like that. But they're also not lame, just like standard camos. They, you know, I, I think I'm running a, a like a, like a purpley pink tiger stripe on my G36. And then, but I also run digital camo on uh, my G38. And so, which I don't think I actually have any footage in this video of my G38 my space trooper rifle it looks pretty sick um but yeah there is just so many options and then you have different ammo types you have fmj ap and um hp so hp is best against flesh so best against abdomen and face and legs uh fmj is your standard ammo which you'll spawn in with every single time a certain set amount for every gun which does a decent job at both ap and um hp and then ap does a really really good job at um well, killing armored targets. So when you spawn in, you get a certain set amount of FMJ ammo, which is, depending on your gun, it's usually three full, well, no, I should actually, it's like five full reloads if you're using 30 round mags. If you're using 50 round mags, it's normally two full reloads. Um, so you normally get 100 to 130 extra ammo um, when you spawn in, but that's FMJ. So that's, it's decent ammo, don't get me wrong. Like you'll definitely get kills with it, no problem. But every now and then you go up against that guy who's got that level four steel ceramic plate or steel ceramic steel plate in his chest carrier. And so he's just being a pain in the butt to kill. So if you long hold R, you'll actually switch over to your additional ammo, which you can either choose AP or HP or at more FMJ. Generally, I would think it's a good idea to run AP. So when you long hold R, you'll get a 30 round reload of whatever extra ammo type you choose. So it's just a nice little way to you know pop a little bit more ammo in there. Now let's talk about how this how this game like compares to Battlefield, I guess you could say. So in Battlefield, there's the class system, right? You have your medic, your um, assault, your um, support, and like a sniper or recon, uh, stuff like that. In this game, there are no classes. They do the balance, which I think is actually decent. I think the balance is decent in this game, is with a weight system. So everything weighs a certain amount. Every attachment, um, you know, every... Every ammo type, every, well, actually the ammos don't weigh anything right now. I don't know if they are or not. Everything weighs a certain amount though. The armor is the biggest thing as well. So the more decked out your character is, the heavier they're going to be. And so the slower you're going to move. And I don't know if it actually affects ADS time as well. I think that'd be a cool thing if it affects your ADS time. That's just a personal thing though. Um, so right now I do feel like the heavy... So there's, there's like three like weight classes, I guess. There's light, medium, and heavy. I feel like the heavy needs to be a little bit slower and more sluggish than it currently is. Because what you see a lot of people running is either a heavy sniper rifle and a RPG or a decked out AR with an RPG at running the level three um, helmet armor, which does 90% bullet, bullet damage reduction to the head and then you also see them run, running um, type 4 steel plate armor, which does, I think it's 75 damage, 75% damage reduction, which is absolutely insane. And when, you know when you're shooting at somebody who has that because you're just like, why aren't they dead yet? Uh, which gets annoying after a little while, but it's not, it's not the worst thing in the world by any means. 
Um, let's see. So that's how they do the balance. And actually, the weapon balance is pretty good. I have not found a gun other than the pistols that don't kill. The pistols do not do a good job just because the, the time to death is really fast. You get an engagement, unless you duck behind some cover real quick, you're going to die. Um, unless you also have incredible shroud aim or something like that and you're just able to pop them right in the face real quick. So all the bullets in this game travel through the air. There's no hit scan, there's nothing like that. Um, there's also realistic bullet drop, although I think some of the guns is exaggerated a little bit because you know, you're know shooting 100 meters and you're, you're dropping a solid 2 feet sometimes uh, with the uh, lowest level sniper rifle, which is actually the sniper rifle I run with as my secondary to my G36. Um, which is actually a really fun loadout. It's what you'll see me using for most of the uh, footage. So getting back to the actual game and the gameplay. So the uh, only modes that are currently in the game are these. I don't know the actual name that this game is calling the game modes. But think of it like Battlefield's Conquest. You know, in Conquest you have the flags that you would capture and then you start with a ticket bleed system. Well, instead of starting out with 4,000 tickets and then you're bleeding down, um... It's like how Battlefield 1 did Conquest. You gain your tickets up until 4,000 and then you win, as well as you have a, a time limit. Now, it's a little bit different. Every objective has two flags tied to it. So there's like A1 and A2, B2 and B1, C1 and C2, and then D1 and D2. Now, not every map has the D1 and D2 because there is basically what I would call a conquest small and a conquest large of every single map at the moment, um, which there are four of. So in the future, there will be more maps. But um, anyway, the the system is actually pretty interesting. It's not super intuitive. Like if you want the most ticket bleed for, or I guess ticket gain from your objectives, you need both of them capped. So if you want to get the most tickets uh, from let's say the A objectives, you need to make sure you have A1 and A2, um, and they're they're like linked, sort of like that uh, linking game mode. I don't remember the exact name from uh, Battlefield 4, where you had to link the objectives, and then your links would break if somebody you know went behind your lines and capped it or something like that. So that's the game mode that's currently in the game, and I actually quite enjoy it. It's it's very fun, and I I think I have like 20 something hours in the game right now, so it's not a ton of time, um, but it's it's a lot of fun. To play this like I am not getting bored at all and as soon as I start getting bored of a gun I'm just like you know what I'm just gonna change the attachments or I'm just gonna change the gun real quick change to a different class or change to a different loadout sorry and it, it, you're just like boom it's back and then when you get bored of that you switch back to this thing the uh, the loadout you were using before and you're like dang that was a ton of fun like let's you know you just keep playing you keep finding new things to do um, the choke points on one of the maps is um, I'm pretty sure it's Moscow uh, is really really annoying and I really don't like that map the choke points are just horrible and there's nothing you can do to push out of them um, it's the one well I guess I don't know I'll probably show some footage on screen right now or something of Berlin of me just dying or not Berlin Moscow I'm pretty sure it's Moscow it's either Berlin or Moscow I don't know one of those two that map is just so choke pointy and so death ridden that you're just gonna die over and over and over as soon as you spawn now let's talk about some of the issues with this game. I've been like it's it's a ton of fun, but there are definitely some issues that the developers need to fix. One of these issues, oh boy, the spawns. There are set spawns for every objective. I don't know how many there are, but they're set and they are not dynamic, meaning that if there's an enemy looking right at that spawn and you spawn in, oh you're dead before you can even take control of your character. So that's really annoying and it happens not constantly, but if you guys, if your team is getting like plowed, yeah, you're gonna notice it and it's gonna be really annoying because you don't even have a chance to fight back before you're dead. And it happens on every single map. There's, it's not, you know, just linked to one map or something like that. As well as there are just some inconvenient bugs in the game. Like if you switch from your secondary to your primary by hitting like one or two and you're holding down fire, like hoping that your gun will fire as soon as, you know, your character will let you. It won't. You have to un like you have to let go and then click again for it to um, to run, which is just a quality of life thing, and it's really annoying. As well as there's just some weird issues where every now and then you'll fall through the map, which is a little weird. I don't know if I have footage of that. I don't think it's happened. There was one or two times I was able to spawn on my squad leader, and then I would just like clip through the wall and then fall through the map, uh, which was interesting. 
I don't think I have footage of that, but it, it happens. Um, as well as you can get spawn killed pretty easily, like I was saying before, but let's say the enemy has all the objectives and you have to spawn at your base. Well, you spawn at your base, most of the bases have a decent amount of cover, but then the second you even peek to, you know, look out to fire at some enemies, you're dead. Because there's three snipers trained at your face right there, and if one doesn't kill you, oh, there's a follow-up shot right behind it. So, um, yeah, good luck. All of these issues, and I'm still able to look past them and really, really enjoy this game. Now, there's a lot of stuff I did not touch, and hopefully you learned some stuff just by watching the video. So I hope from watching uh, this video and just listening, as well as just like watching the footage, you've at least learned something, or maybe you know, maybe you'd even pick up the game. The game is only twenty-eight dollars on Steam, and if you use my uh, link in the description to go to g2a.com, um, you can actually get it for a few dollars off, which um, is what I did, and it's uh, pretty darn awesome. Uh, it's a great little game for that. Every game, what I do, if I can play one hour per dollar I pay for the game, it's worth it. And I um, I have already done that. And uh, let's just say I will be playing on multitudes. Multitudes? That's not the right word. I will be playing a ton more of this game. And it is, it is the Battlefield title I have been waiting for for a long time. It just doesn't have the Battlefield name attached to it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There is a lot more that I didn't cover. This was a very brief overview. And if I messed anything up, please let me know in the comments down below. Um, but yeah, I will definitely be making a lot more videos uh, on this. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I've already said, if you liked it, then leave a like. If you disliked it, then leave a dislike. And uh, please comment, you know, down in the comment section below. What would you what do you think? Do you think this would be a game for you to pick up? It's a hardcore battlefield title. Basically, it's all it is. It's a ton of fun. Um, but yeah. And if you want to see more of these videos, obviously hit that subscribe button and click the little bell notification so that way you know when I post a new video or go live. And yeah, it's Mr. Mr. HD Gamer 101. I'll see you next time. Peace out.